Hi, everybody. My name is Lisa Askelis Inventress. My business is Inventing A to Z. At Inventing A to Z, I work with clients to take their products from concept to fruition, from a napkin idea all the way to the marketplace and everything in between the right way. If you want to contact me, email me, Lisa at Inventing ATOZ.com. My website, Inventing ATOZ.com. Hi, everybody. This is Elise Askley's Inventress. Welcome to the Inventress podcast. Extremely excited today because I have a phenomenal guest coming on. Can't wait to have her in the room with us, in the room, but in her room, separated, unfortunately. My guest's name is Antonia Tameo. She's CEO and founder of Antonia's Promise. Welcome, Antonia. Antonia, welcome to the Inventress Podcast, sweetheart. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. And I have to say, you look amazing. Thank you. And so do you. You look fabulous. Thank you. You're Thank glowing, you. honey. You're glowing. And I know. I well, you always glow. You're always beautiful. But you're, you're extra. Oh, thank you. You've got that extra glow on today because we're getting very close, aren't we? We're here. We are here. We are here. <laughs> so just for the listeners, so the listeners know, we've been working on uh, Antonia's Promise for probably about about two years, going on two years. And I think yes. we're coming up on, on, a, on a fabulous anniversary um, where uh, the date, the date is happening. I think that's uh, when you're even planning on launching. I think it's February 19th. Well, Antonia's Promise is a beautiful, um, it's a cross. I actually, I'm wearing it, but it's just a part of what Antonia's Promise is. Um, this happens to be a, a broken or, or it's a broken cross. And Antonia, I'm going to give you the floor and give you the opportunity to explain what the cross is, what it stands for, and, um, and, and where we are today. You got the okay. floor. Thank you so much, Lisa. First, thank you for having me on your podcast. Um, you know, it feels like just yesterday I was on and now here we are again and we've we're here and you know I keep staring at your neck because not because it's mine but it looks really good on you <laughs> but um yeah I love it I love it leather with leather you know so so Antonia's uh promise is a line of crosses that I have created with Jesus Christ and the Virgin Mary for you for the listeners for Lisa for all the people in this world um as a sign of you know hope healing faith and you know it's um it's a story of healing and miracles that's what it is and it's to let you know that you are never alone in your brokenness and you don't have to do this alone who wants to do anything alone right we all have a story we all have something that we deal with whether it's anxiety depression suicidal thoughts covid-19 cancer i mean the list goes on and on and on right so this is you know something to to look at, right? And say, hey, I'm broken, but through Christ, I can be lifted. I can be healed. And what is the end result? Prayer. So the image inside the cross is of a person bent over broken in prayer and praying, right? So that's how I was healed. It was when I had turned to Christ and I was healed through prayer. And, um, you know, I, I talk about the rosary because this rosary here is what got me through so much of my hardest times. And um, I wanted to create something that people can look at and something people can see to remind them, to make them understand that they're not alone as well. And um, with every necklace that I've created on the locket, there is a pink bead representing this rosary right here. Right. Yeah, there it is. And it's on mine, too. And I mean, it's small, but if you you can see it and, and, you know, and that's just something to let you know that 
that was what, you know, my angel gave me this. And now I give you a piece of my angel. I love it. So um, I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Um, I've never thought in a million years, this would be my life. If you told me two years ago that I would be uh, owning my own company and I'd be creating something so magnificent, I, I, I would say, yeah, okay. You know, I don't <laughs> think you're looking at the right person, but um, I, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of everything from the box to the card to the, you know, it's like everything about it. I'm just so proud about it. Yeah. Like there it is. I have it too, you know, and oh. But this is so much. Every piece, every part of it is. I love it. You have a little bag. I love it. I love it. There's glare, but I mean, you got to purchase. Yeah. You know what it really right. is. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, and, and you know, who doesn't like pretty things, right? Everybody. Everybody does. It's and pretty. It's, 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 it's really, just pretty. It's such a beautiful piece. And you um, have to talk about, you know, for the listeners, yeah. out there, the inventors, the entrepreneurs out there who are thinking that they can't create a product that it just, it's too magnificent, too big to ever imagine. Like you just said, developing a product, inventing something that literally they created and can actually manufacture and, and start selling. And, and it takes time, but if you have passion and determination, like obviously you did, it can be done. And by taking the proper steps, it can be done. And the proof is in the pudding. You know, you did it. You know, you, you came up with this beautiful design, this beautiful, I mean, I absolutely love it. And the meaning behind it is so touching and so warm. And every inventor out there is inventing something because either they had a problem that they're trying to solve, usually that's the case, or something touches their heart and, and they say, I really want to do this. But without that right. determination and, and that you had, Antonia, to make this happen, it really, it, it can't happen because there's... There's a lot of steps in order to make these things happen. It doesn't happen overnight. Right. And, you know, I, I thank you for that, you know, because it wasn't easy. But more importantly, you know, and this this is going to come back to you. I can honestly say, I mean, without, without God, this wouldn't happen because um, oh. I was inspired by him and the Virgin Mary to do all this. And I am a creative person. But this is where credit's due. This was an idea and you took me through all of those steps to get there. And I can honestly say, and, and you know, I, I mean this with all my heart, this is you too. So I feel like you're about to give birth too, you know, because you were with me from day one. And this was more than just do this, do that. You, you were more for me than anything. You know, you were my mentor, you were a mother figure, you were um, someone that I, I needed. Okay, now what? You know, and I was always like, okay, what's the next step? What's the next step? But you made it very exciting for me too, because, you know, I, I knew that I, what I can handle. And I think you knew what I can handle and you're like, okay. And if I, if I was down and out, you'd get me back up that roller coaster ride, you know, and there are going to be times where you're going to go up and there are going to be times you're going to go down. But I couldn't do this alone when I was broken and I couldn't do this alone now creating it. So I have a great team. I have a great support team at home. I have an amazing husband. I have great kids, but I have you. So I feel like I got the dream team. You know what I mean? Like I do, I got it all. And you know, I got him number one, but you, you need a little more than that, especially when you have ideas that are so magically big sometimes, you know, um, you know, for me, I needed the help in every sense of the word. So I, I thank God for you every day. I really do. Thank it's the you. truth. It's such a pleasure to have you as a client, you know, and without your involvement, without you saying, okay, Lisa, can I change something? Can I make a change to the to the um, bead, can I make a change to the leather? Can Absolutely, and we found ways to do it. We found ways to do it together, but I couldn't do these things. And I say to my clients, without your determination and your your creativity, I, I not, this, this, is your, this is your product, this is your idea. We brainstorm together and we make things happen. So yes, I make calls to the factories and, and all of those things, but I don't make calls without your saying, Lisa, can we, can we have this? And you know, I, I have to give all my children everything they want. So <laughs> speaking of the mother figure, 
you ask for it and you receive it. And um, this has happened, but it's all, it's also that dance. We know we got to, we're, we're married. We got to stay dancing in this, in this relationship of building this incredible product that's been built, you know, and that's magical to me. Again, having you as a client who has that desire makes it all happen, makes it all worth my while. I mean, you know, I'm up three, four o'clock in the morning talking to the factories, but I love no days off. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, 11 p.m., 2 p.m., ding. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, I need an answer. <laughs> if I'm up, you're up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, but you just happen to have your phone on. I never expect you to answer the phone at 4 a.m. No, 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 no. But I get, my, I, that's, I get my notes off. If I'm talking to the factory, I'm like typing. I'm typing and texting. Whatever they're saying to me, I'm typing and texting mm -hmm to you or emailing and because I'm multitasking phone, you see me phone, computer, and you know, whatever. What I did I call you? Can I say it on the podcast? Um, yes. You've never called me anything but nice things. So yes, you can <laughs> get it done lady. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. you just, you get it done. You get it done. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like we're tag teaming each other constantly. So, um, yeah, I you got to get it done. I, I just said to somebody today, you know, if you, once I'm going, I'm going. So if you're not ready, mm -mm, don't, don't, don't come here. Cause when I'm, when I'm ready to roll, you say, mm -hmm. yeah, you talk on me, I'm flying. Mm -hmm. I'm making it happen. I can't mm -hmm. have all these things just weighing me down. It's gotta get done. Gotta mm -hmm. get done each thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I am the get mm, done lady. 100%. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, but you are too, you know, you are 100% a task master. You get things done. When I give you a list, you're like, okay, Lisa, what do I need? You mm -hmm. need this, 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 and that. And you do it. You do it. Every, yeah. Regardless yeah. of anything. You know, yeah. even if you wanted to, you know, change and, and redesign or get the bag. I said, okay. You said, I want a bag. I want some kind of a bag. I go, let's go. Let's look at bags. Go online. Take a look at some of the bags you're interested in. Immediately, you sent me, I don't know, 75,000 links. I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, place the order, got them shipped to uh, our factory, got them made and done. But that's, that's the dance, girl. This is what I'm talking about. You have to have this communication. And, you know, without that um, brainstorming and interaction with somebody else who's in the game of what you're doing, no matter what it is you're doing, whether it's music, if, if you're a musician, you don't want to talk to a, a painter about music. You want to talk to another musician, right? You're an inventor. You want to talk to somebody who can communicate that same language and be excited about it. Number mm -hmm. one, numero uno. You want somebody who can talk the talk and know because you got a lot of people out there who are willing to give you advice and it's sometimes it's bad advice or, or criticism. Don't need criticism. Not when you're building a product. Not good. Mm -hmm. Not good for your heart. And it, it kind of... Um, negates all of the goodness and, and the great things that you felt. So, you know, I always say, keep the negative to the side. You know, as I say, do this every Monday, brush it off, mm -hmm. keep on getting up. We gotta do that every day. But sometimes you're gonna have naysayers who mean well, friends who mean well. Yeah. There's but, a lot of those. So have you, so tell me, um, have you gone through any of those things and you don't have to get personal or anything like that? Of course. Okay, that's of what course. I wanted to say. I mean, you know, I think for me, I've had nothing but positive people in my life. Mm -hmm. But even though you have positive people in your life, they still question, you know, not a lot of people take risks. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. A lot mm -hmm. of people are not risk takers. Right. But the, the one that the, the, you know, but then you see someone you're like, oh, I could have done that. I could have. Why didn't I think of that? You did think of it, but did you see it through? Did you get it started? Did you write it down? You know, and these are all things that That's right. I had no idea I would be doing this. No clue. When this all began, I went to a concert. I have it on my full story. You know, when they go to, when everybody, when you guys go to my website, you'll see the full story. No idea. I came home from that concert. I got inspired. I started drawing. My husband is an, you know, he's also an artist. He's like, go on Fiverr, Fiverr, sorry, find somebody. I went, I had no clue what I was doing. 
No clue. Then it, something told me, because before I actually created the cross, I, I made rosaries. Mm -hmm. And I was inspired by that. That's a whole nother story. But anyway, something told me, uh, don't keep, just keep going. Just keep going. Don't sell it. Just keep going. Just keep going. Don't sell it. Mm -hmm. And I just went with all of these gut instincts that I had. And it was the when I called the attorneys to protect this design that I had made. I had no clue what I was doing. I didn't even know. I just went with oh, I went with faith. I huh. went with um, inspiration. Mm -hmm. I went with gut. I went with with what I was feeling. But I had no clue. And it just kept getting bigger and mm -hmm. bigger. And I met you, and it just kept going and going and going. Oh. And now here we are. Oh you walked through your faith right you yes. walked through it you didn't even know you were walking through it at the time i, I really have to say no i did not I yeah know. god leads let me tell you something and you lift when you listen you're going to go in the right direction you have, i was you, listening with two ears and i was yes. extremely obedient to mm -hmm. everything and and you know never once did i ever say i can't do this no you didn't i i never ever said it because I made God a promise, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And and that's why Antonia's promise is called Antonia's promise. Oh. And he kept his, right? Because I'm here, healthy oh. and whole. Yes. And I had to keep mine. And I just knew that whatever I was being instructed to do had to get done. And the way that I trust God is the way that I trust you. Oh, thank you. So Antonio. whatever you told me to do, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. And now here we are. Here we are. But and we, I would have never thought, I, I would have never thought, but I am so excited to share this cool, trendy cross with the world. It is. It is so cool and so trendy. I feel extremely hip. I got to tell you. <laughs> well, myself, girl. Too, you, look, you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. What a choice. That color that you're wearing, your sweater. I, know, I, I, think, I think red looks nice on me. What do you think? Beautiful on you. Gorgeous. I like this color on me. Oh, I thought I, it would be nice with the with the cross too, and it actually worked out. It really does. It looks fabulous. It really and truly does. Everybody's going to want this. So you know, shout out your website. What's your website, Antonia? So it's www.antoniaspromise.com. You see and the big spell, smile. On my face? Spell it. Spell it for those who don't know how to spell okay. it. So it's www. A N T O N I A S promise P R O M I S E dot com. Woo! And you could actually go to Antonia's website, check it out. Finally, we're saying this. We can you can actually check it out on her website. It's gorgeous on the site. It's more gorgeous in person. And every single one of you is going to order one or two mm -hmm. or several. Mm -hmm. Well, and there's two different lines, so they can get right, both. Right. There's so the double. I'm the double. What are you wearing? I'm wearing the double too. I like the double. It's a 17 inch. It's not a choker. It's not too long. It fits just on your collarbone, which is so. I don't know. I like that. And then there's the the three inch cord that's a 20 inch. So if a if a man wants to wear it or a woman wants it a little longer, yeah, yeah, and, yep. and then. So this is unisex. Right. right. They're unisex. And then the back, one has a Tibetan end, which um, is the three millimeter. And then these have the hammered end bells. So yeah. they're they're really pretty. And everything is sterling silver. Um, so it's, it's really pretty. And this is just the beginning. You know, yeah. there'll be others. There'll be more. There'll be more colors and stuff like that. But I happen to love this color. Mm -hmm. um, of the cross and there's meaning behind that too. Um, the reason why I chose this particular color was because the mural, which is so significant in my story, this is the exact color wow. that was the, the, the cross that I stared at through my healing, but it actually worked out to be a magnificent color. Um, so God is good, man. He, God he is so good. Um, shine so beautiful on everything. Um, your, story so really your story is riveting. It's moving. And everybody, I mean, as I say, everybody has a story about whatever, whatever it is you're, you're doing. Yours is so apropos to your, your cross and everything else that you do. You're beautiful 
rosaries that you make, but this is, and, and thank you so much. I wanted to work with you today. The beautiful rosary beads you made me with the cross. Uh -huh. Absolutely gorgeous. Very talented lady, Antoine, you know that. Very, very thank talented. You. And, and, you, and you move forward in everything. Uh, but I, I love everything that comes even in your box. I mean, can you just explain to everyone what you're getting when they receive your incredible- Sure. So I wanted, I wanted people to understand, first of all, I'm a luxury person, right? I love luxury. I love pretty things, right? And I love, you know, just something that's going to make me feel good as a woman. I've always, I've always liked that. A man, a woman, I like nice things. Hey, I'm not embarrassed to admit it, right? So I wanted something very pretty and pure, which is my line, right? Um, so you have the box with the logo. Um, and there's a little bit of an iridescent look to uh, the cross too, which I think is so pretty. I don't know if you can see the glare, but I thought this pouch was just so pretty, all white inside the pouch. Um, I wanted people to know what this was. And I mean, this is the three millimeter one. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a thicker leather, right, with, with that. But I wanted people to, if they gave it as a gift, even there's a little card inside describing what this is and it's personalized for you, right? It's personalized for the gift that you give so that you understand. In addition to that, I, um, I wanted to, to honor the woman who gave me my rosary and I call her my angel. So I hired a few artists because I'm a perfectionist and I created this beautiful angel. And what it says on it is exactly what my, what my angel had said to me, which was, it was the day my angel appeared and she said, Jesus loves you. Jesus wants to help you. Jesus knows you. Jesus is a doctor, pray. And I wanted this to be for, yeah, there it is. And then on the back is, um, a quote that I came up with, which is inspired by God and trust. She followed her heart in the name of love for him. And that's exactly what I did. And then it says, Antonia's promise, we are all broken. And it's an image of the cross. And when I say we're all broken, I mean it in the most beautiful way. We are. We are. Who has we not? Are. We're broken now. I, I still feel broken. I don't think I'll ever be sick. But we are broken in one way or another. Look at this pandemic. Look at what we're going through. We're all broken, yeah. whether it's emotionally broken or things that have happened in our past or whatever. And this is just a reminder that we're, we're not alone. Mm -hmm. And God is always with us. Jesus is always with us and comforting us. You know, and it's just something to, you know, you need a, a focal point. And this is a great focal point at this point, at this time in our life. We always need you know, it. But this is yeah, a beautiful piece for everyone, Antonia. Everyone, just oh. to have on and, and as a reminder. That we're yes. we in, in many uh, different emotions, but we're all we're all same. We're all God's children, and we feel we're broken and hurt, etc. Yep. And I want it to be a positive thing. It's mm -hmm. not a. It's 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 a very positive thing. Even today, and I'm better, and I'm healed, and I'm all these things, but I'm not perfect, right. and I'm human, and every day I still battle all of these things, and I have my cross everywhere. You know how you posted that Amazon guy? So yeah. I have a chalkboard. It's like, it's yeah. huge, my house. And I drew it. I, it's, it's a picture of my cross and that is it. I wear my necklace. I look at it. What do I do? Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that I'm going through, I just pray it away, you know, oh. but it's, it's an instant symbol of a reminder of what to do. I love but, it. I love it. And I love your energy. I love your excitement. Oh, oh my gosh. It's on the water. It's not if even. If I could like, dance right now, I'd be dancing. Oh yeah, you know what? I'm gonna. Start, <laughs> that's gonna start happening on this show, by the way, because every yeah. inventor who gets their product in wants to do a happy dance. What's your happy dance? Mm -hmm. What's your happy dance? I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to figure yeah. this part out. Oh, here. Make oh, I'm, oh. Oh. Ooh, okay, that's a little sexy too. Oh. It's, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I I love it. <laughs> started that trend now. Everybody's got to do a happy. <laughs> wanted to do he's going to be on our show on tuesday and he Who's was this christopher davis oh yeah christopher yes so he he was doing his happy dance mm -hmm. so everybody on the show has got to do their happy dance and they will be mm -hmm. doing a happy dance when it once it comes in once it comes in mm -hmm. well your yours is on the water so 
the happy yes. day is apropos. Yes. So I want to sure. ask you, how did your parents feel? I, I always go back to that. So for me, it's like making my parents, whatever I've ever done in life, I want to make my parents proud. No matter what, I want to make my parents proud. So how did your parents feel about all of this? And you can, you can make it a shortened version because it's, it's a long story, but from there to the middle to now, as a matter of fact, and I, and I even see your mom on social media, so that's another story. So <laughs> she go <ahead>. love Lisa. <laughs> She's going to be watching this going, oh my God. You know, whenever I imitate my mother, I do it with like this Italian accent. So if it comes out, forgive me. You know, I struggled you know, all this is great. And, and I talk about the, the positiveness about developing this, but the reality is, is that I come from a very private family. Okay. So children are seen and not heard so much, but I've always been a very bubbly, happy, uh, go lucky girl. And when I was developing this, I had to put my whole story out there, you know, um, and I had to disclose everything. You know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right. But I struggled with that because of the conservative part that we come from. Are you talking yeah. about to your family you had to disclose this to? Because you yeah, Well, I mean, the story is going to go out to the world, right? Right, right. So I mean it in the sense of we're a private family in the sense of that we're, we're a conservative family. Right. And, you know, putting everything out there is a big deal sometimes. Not everyone can do that. Mm -hmm. And... I remember the phone call very, very clearly. And I called my mom and I said, mom, I'm doing this. And I know, you know, but I want you to know that I have to tell the whole, you know, I have to say everything. It's going to be out there. I'm going to be on, you know, a, a radio shows. I'm going to be on a podcast. Who knows where this can go? Are you okay with that? And I'll never forget what she said to me. Well, if you're doing it for Jesus, it's okay. Oh. And you got to tell the full story. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Oh, that is the sweetest. I mean, I could do it in her accent, but do it in her accent. I, 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 I said, she goes, it's okay. It's okay. If you're going to do, you got to do. You got to tell the real story. For Jesus, you got to do. It's okay. For God, you got to do. And oh. I hung up the phone. And I said, she's right. But it was almost like I needed that, even though I'm a, you know, blah, blah, blah woman, you know, it doesn't matter, right? No. You kind of want that seal of approval from your family. And that's what I mean by the support. Yeah. You know, uh, my dad's a risk taker. My mom, eh, not so much. But because it was for Jesus Christ and the oh. Virgin Mary, she's like, oh. you got to do it. And you got to tell the full story. So that. it was like, that was it. I, you, I, how many times did I edit this story, right? How many times did I write and rewrite and write and rewrite? And thank God you told me to write it a year ago because I would have never remembered all those things. Yeah. Um, it's journaling the journey, honey. It's, it's very true, right? Changes along the way, but yes, go ahead. So that's how my parents felt about it. Mm -hmm. Because I was doing it for God, um, they were very supportive until this day, they want me to do nothing but succeed to help people to, to share my story, to give strength to others. Um, and, and I have to say my husband too, he's a doll. He really is. He's a dolly. Uh, he's That's been wonderful. So important. It's so important. And I heard his voice the other day in, in the car, yeah. you got, you know, I, I sent you your, uh, your pre-production sample. I think it was a pre-production. Oh, you, yes, you got the pre-production sample in the mail and your mm -hmm. was in the car. It was so awesome to hear him. He's so proud. Say, yeah. So proud of you and just mm -hmm. great. I love hearing that because without your spouse on your team, you know, it's very true. You do things on your own. It's very, very difficult to do things without the support of people you love and who love you, you know, but you're, you're blessed enough to have that type of support and, and your, their, your cheerleaders, your children, Amy Grace. I mean, always, oh, she's always right next to you, you know, old Matthew, your, your, you know, all three of your children and just, just very, very, and your mother and father, of course, just, I feel like I'm a part of the family at this point. <laughs> uh, and just having that is just so wonderful. And, and for me too, because I don't feel like there's pushback. It's for me mm -hmm. too, it's hard. 
if I have someone I'm working with and I know that there's pushback from their family, kind of, you can feel it. I can feel it in my client. Mm -hmm. And so for you, it's been just so wonderful. It's been such a wonderful, as I say, a wonderful dance, you know, and there are pitfalls and things that are going to happen during the manufacturing yes. process, but you stand tall, you stand strong, you jump over any hurdles and you keep on moving, which is what you've done. And by the grace of God, first and foremost, God and gives you the strength. God does give you, no matter what you, you have your two minute, two minute. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that happened. And then keep it moving. Keep yeah. It moving. And sure. with, with support. And he puts the right people in your path. Yes. You know, absolutely. Absolutely. you, know, you pray on, I pray on it all the time. Everything, everything. I pray on everything. Um, and he gave me all the correct people that I needed to mm -hmm. come to see this to fruition. And he does. When you ask, when you yes. ask, he gives yes. it. Maybe yes. not in the specific time or order that you are looking for, mm -hmm. but when you ask. Oh, his ideas are way better than mine. I'm always, right? When you yeah. ask, he will give it's it fine. in the way and in the time that mm -hmm. you're supposed to receive it. Okay. For so. sure. But I mean, Antonia, this is this has been absolutely fabulous. Let's shout out your website again, and um, we're going to wrap with three questions I have for you. Oh, I love that part. Okay, so visit me and come to www.antoniaspromise.com. That's wonderful, and can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Um, I placed the first order, by the way. Everyone out there, I was the first one. To place <laughs> and I wanted it to be well, you, but before, before it was even finished. <laughs> so you yeah. now now it's actually done. Now it's completed. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. I think you're you're gonna uh, you're gonna do pre-orders, right? You're gonna do some pre-orders. Yes. Yeah, so the nineteenth is a very significant day for me, and I've decided to launch on uh, my fifteen-year anniversary is the 19th as well. Um, so I'm going to launch on February 19th, 2021. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited and I'm going to do pre-orders, but it shouldn't be too much. Uh, I think you'll get your shipment within 30 days. Yeah. Yeah. About um, 30 or so. Maybe, yeah. maybe, sooner. maybe sooner. Yeah. So, it's been great. 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 So uh, the three questions I have for you is because I'm looking at you with your magnificent self. You look like a movie star, but I'm going to say, if you were to, um, I'm going to say first, if you were to write a movie, what would the name of your movie be? Hmm. I think I would just do Antonia's Promise, the Love whole it. story. Love it. And if, uh, who would play you if you were not available to play yourself? Because you could play yourself. <laughs> if you were not available to play yourself. I could, I could play myself. Play um, who would play you? Who would play me? I, I, I mean, someone that has to be, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Bubbly, beautiful. Um, how cute uh, are you? What's that? I don't know. I said, how cute are you? I don't know. I don't, I don't know anybody. I mean, Melissa McCarthy, I really like, but she's, maybe, I think I would have to go with her. She's yeah. the only one. That so really let's go with Melissa. Me. Let's go with Melissa. If you write the script, maybe, you yeah. know, we'll invite her. Yeah, she's what's coming to my head. In the role. Mm -hmm. And lastly, if you were stuck on a deserted island, and I always see this deserted island as such a beautiful place. It's so mm -hmm. pretty. I always envision that. Who would be on that island, could not be your husband, could not be um, any significant other or relative? Who would I be- I might get in trouble for this. Why? It's <laughs> a hypothetical. There's this guy who plays Jesus in the movie, in the show, The Chosen. Might get in trouble. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Um, keep on going. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Real Jesus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now let's just. Let's just change the right now. Okay. Well, right. and I only say that because he's just such a inspiring actor, but person. And that's why I said that. Um, yeah. He really is. He's, he's magnificent. And I started watching the series, The Chosen, and I just happened to find him very inspiring. Um, and 
not only does he play the part, but he kind of has become the part. Mm -hmm. And there's something very special and endearing about him. Well, so no choose anybody. That's okay. Yeah. I think that's, that's why I said him. And there's no better person. I mean, if, if no greater, no greater person than, or being than, than Jesus Christ himself. Yes. A hundred percent. Antonia, this has been wonderful as always. Love speaking with you. Always, always, always chatting, chatting and having this conversation. We have these conversations often and it's so um, enlightening to hear. I love hearing about family and you know your mom mm -hmm. and dad. And now your mom is on social media and I don't know if your dad is, but it's so nice. I love he nice. Watches. <laughs> Watches. I love the kindness in all of those things. And this is what comes from all of it. In order to build a product and to work with me, obviously you have to be very kind and you're kind and you're warm and your personality, you just exude it in everything you do. And obviously in the product is just kind and beautiful and caring. And um, thank you, Antonia. Thank you, sweetheart. Lisa, I feel very special today and it's because of you. So... Well, you are Thanks. special. You are special. You're a gift, Antonia. So are you. Right back at you. Touche. Thank I you. I mean it. Thank you. So thank you so much for being on the Inventors Podcast. And uh, keep on, we're going to have you back over and over again. Okay. That sounds great. I would love to. All right. I, let's do it when, uh, let's see how this goes. I think it's going to be a big success. I really oh. do. Oh, it's going. So let's, let's come back and let you know how it goes. That sounds good. All right, sweetheart. You have a blessed. All right. You too, Lisa. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So I'm smiling from ear to ear because that was an incredible conversation. You know, as I've been saying, this is not an interview. It's a conversation. So Antonia is bubbly. She's exciting. And she has a wonderful product. You know, her story about her cross, her broken cross, the crack cross, the praying, praying figure was just fantastic, moving, and just I moved and so happy to have had her for a client for the last two years and built her product from beginning to end, from a napkin idea all the way to the end. We're on the water. It's really astounding, astonishing to me. But um, what's more amazing is the people I work with, Antonia, Antonia, doing everything in her power um, to make this happen. And she did it. She did it. She did it. And I'm very proud of her. Thank you, Antonia Tomeo. Listen, if you want to get on my show, the Inventors Podcast, for a conversation, we don't do interviews, we have conversations. Please make sure you email me. My email is info at inventing a to z.com, my website, inventing a to z.com. And subscribe to the podcast. It's it's on every single platform that you hear podcasts. It's on YouTube. Apple, um, Google Play, wherever, every single podcast you could possibly imagine, it's there, it's there. And again, just go to my website and click on podcast. You'll see it there. That's in, again, inventing a to z.com. And uh, again, can't just keep listening. Keep listening to the podcast. Keep coming back. Love to hear from you. Until next time, have a wonderful, peaceful and blessed day. <laughs>